Hey guys, it is X. Thank you for watching. On today's video, I'm going to show you what I meal prep when I take for lunch. I'm a night shift nurse. It is hard to one, find anything that's open at night. Two, you have to have hot, healthy options in order for you to, um, you know, try and lose weight. <laughs> so I try my best not to eat out and eat the stuff that my coworkers bring because they always bring like unhealthy food that is just so yummy, but I just try my best not to because I'm really trying to focus on eating healthy, eating better. So I'm gonna show you and try to give you an estimation of the prices of things that I purchased. And I know that that is a big thing. Eating healthy is much more expensive, but I'm gonna show you that it doesn't have to be. So today I'm going to actually make a salad, um, a chicken salad, and then I'm going to um, get take cottage cheese and fruit, and then I'm also going to be taking some trail mix and a rice cake. So I'm not going to exactly probably eat everything um but i like to have a variety of different snacks when i go to work just because i never know what mood i'm gonna be in and i try to eat around this time which is 4 p.m before i start work because my lunch is actually not until midnight um so yeah let's get started okay so i have this little meal prep um <laughs> You guys, my videos are never like planned out. I always have a video idea, but I don't have like a script or anything. I literally record in one seating. So if ever I ramble or stumble, it's literally because this is all like improv. <laughs> so I apologize. Bowl. I have this Tupperware meal prep bowl. And now I'm gonna get the half and half blend. I got this at Bonds. I believe I paid around $2.99. This is good, I wanna say for like two and a half servings. So what I do is just grab a bunch and put it in here. And then and then I'm going to get crumbled blue cheese. I was never a really big fan of blue cheese until recently. I don't know why, like my taste buds have changed because I wasn't a fan of cottage cheese before either and I am now. So I'm just gonna get a little bit, actually, let me get a spoon and I'll tell you why because we're gonna measure other things. So I'm just gonna get a tablespoon of blue cheese. I also like these, um, there's different kinds. These are salad toppers and this is sea salt and cracked pepper mix. So I'm also gonna get a tablespoon of this. And then I have, um, oh, and just a disclaimer, I don't count my calories. I used to do that. I used to be very strict. I did lose a lot of weight doing that, but I get, it's miserable. Like, I don't want to do that for the rest of my life. So I wanted something realistic. And so I'm not on exactly like a special diet. I don't count my macros or protein or anything like that. I just try to eat better and make better decisions. Um, and if you see my video, um, what is it called? How I save money for a house. You can totally tell like the difference in my face, how much weight I've lost just by doing these simple things. So this is pecan pieces. This was also, I think around two to 3.99. I'm not gonna use the whole thing because that was a lot. And then I get little cherry tomatoes. I feel like they last longer when I put them in Tupperware. That's why it's not in the original package. But I wanna say these are also about 3.99. So I know the costs will probably add up, but the like the first time you purchase everything, but I swear it lasts a good amount of a while. So I'm just gonna put about three to four cherry tomatoes in there. Now I'm just gonna cook my chicken real quick. So all I do literally is stove top a piece of chicken. So I got, um, thin cut breasts usually is this breast yes it's boneless chicken breast um and that was 371 chicken prices have gone up so much i swear i used to buy like a package this big and it only cost me like five dollars and now it's double the price 
Oh look, I have sliced almonds as well. In for like a different flavor, but anyway, like I was saying, chicken has gone up in price so much. Um I also for salad dressing am going to use this zesty Italian. And I don't put it directly on my salad. I take it in a little container for lunch. So I'll put a little bit in here. I shook it up because I think this has a lot of vinegar in it when it separates. So I don't want to just take a bunch of vinegar. So I will do half of that amount. Some people to save calories will not put it over their um salad they'll take pieces of salad and dip it that's just a little too much for me so I won't do that and then here is my cute little bag that I take to work I have a bunch of tea in here that I take because I like uh to stay awake at night so I have a bunch of tea in there and I'm going to top this off now. I'm gonna add the chicken but I'll probably put it in a plastic bag I also Sorry. <laughs> I'm cooking the chicken. Um, I only used a little bit of butter, salt and pepper. And I'm only gonna take half of that amount. I also pack a protein shake just in case. I don't always eat it, uh, consume this, but I like to have it with me just in case I want it. So let me see. I did buy more of this. I love it. If you watch my videos, I absolutely love this. Um, so I'm going to take, this is the end. I'm so glad I restocked when they were on sale. <laughs> but um, yeah, I usually will have this. I try if I'm going to, to drink it or either 10, but like two hours before my lunch if I get hungry. Or I will have it at like 5 a.m. before I come home from work so that I don't eat breakfast and the reason why I don't like to eat breakfast when I come home is because I will eat breakfast and then immediately go back to sleep and go back to work the next night so I don't like to do that and you guys this chicken literally takes no time like my prep time I have to leave for work at 5 30 it's 4 19 I started this video around 4 so it literally makes no time to make a healthy lunch I forgot I also have cranberries I do like to add this to my salad I don't have that many left I bought those at Ralph I want to say this was at least four dollars um, but I only have a little bit left so I'm just gonna add it to my salad just so I have one less thing in my fridge and I'm also going to pack I always forget this so I have to put it in my bag because I always take my protein shake and then I don't have my blender and I'm like, crap. Now what am I going to do? So for my protein shake, I'm sorry if this is so redundant because you watched my other videos. Um, but if you don't, I use coconut milk to mix my um, protein shake and this is from Silk. So typically I use about 10 to 12 ounces of coconut milk. This is so good. I do buy the sweetened one. It is 70 calories for 8 ounces. So Vicky Justice, the girl that actually made the protein, uses almond milk. I can't stand almond milk. Like, I don't know if it's the almond milk that I've tried or the brand, but I just don't like it particularly. So I like um, the coconut from Silk. It just, it just tastes amazing. Let me put my chicken. Okay, so now I'm going to pack this yogurt trail mix um I did buy yogurt so I'm not lactose intolerant but I did well that I know of but I did I was trying to stay away from dairy because I did this allergy skin test and it said that I was reactive to milk <laughs> but I started eating cottage cheese so I was like what's the point if I'm gonna eat one thing might as well eat the like the rest of the family so um, I guess I will take just a handful of this or let me see, fourth of a cup. I will take a fourth of a cup of that to work just to snack on. Like I 
said, I, you don't have to eat everything you pack. I just like having a variety of options. And because I try to eat every two hours, these are like simple, healthy snacks that you can take. And there's that. And then I'm going to prep the fruit with the cottage cheese. And I'm actually going to have some of that now for dinner before work. This is what I'm gonna pack my cottage cheese in. My mom bought me these cute little Tupperware, but I can't get them open for the life of me. Like, I don't wanna break it, but I swear, like, ever since I got them, I'm like, how the hell do I open this? Oh, there we go. Yay! All right, I'm not gonna use it this time, but uh, actually, I'm like, okay, my bag is not that big. It's small, so I'm like trying to, Face save, so um, I will take the other one for now. So this cottage cheese, I believe, was around two to three dollars, and I got it in um, four percent milk. Min, I don't know what the hell that means. Uh, let me put my chicken again here. <laughs> You guys, ever, I swear, like, I don't know much about nutrition, like I said. You're going to have to find some other YouTuber to explain that to you. And I, like I said before, like, I wanted to try Arbonne. I wanted to try all these other different diets. But I wanted to be realistic because, like with I said, with counting calories, that just doesn't work for me. Like, I don't like to do that. It's miserable. It gets boring after a while. Let me see half a cup is 110 calories. I don't really care, but I'm just letting you know for your sake, <laughs> in case you were wondering what the calorie count is. Um, but I just, like I said, I just wanted to be realistic with things that I was going to be eating and consuming. And I don't feel like counting calories is realistic for me. I'm not gonna do that the rest of my life. But I, I do recommend counting calories at least for two weeks. And the reason why I say that is because when I started gaining weight and not realizing that I was gaining weight, I was like, I don't understand. Like, I've been doing the same thing that I've always done. But that's simply not true. Like, to be honest, I was consuming so many more calories than I used to. And I didn't really realize it. I think this chicken's done until I started counting my calories and realizing that I was well into like the 3000s and not working out sufficient enough to like burn all that. I paid $7 for this fruit bowl. You can buy fruit and make it yourself, but um, it's basically just a mixture of kiwi, um, strawberries, and pineapple. So I like a lot of health shows like <laughs> Botched, Dr. 90210, um, My Feet Are Killing Me, Dr. Plumber, like all those shows I really enjoy watching. So one of them that I like watching is My 600 Pound Life. And the doctor was saying like, in order to maintain the weight that you're currently at, you have to be consuming the calories that you're currently at. And that's like these people who weigh 500, 600 pounds are consuming at least 30 to 50,000 calories a day, which is just insane. So I'm just gonna pack a little bit, probably pack a little bit more. So I'm gonna eat all this stuff over th a period of three days, cause that's exactly uh, how much food I usually buy to meal prep because I work three days in a row. So it just makes it easier to do that. But anyway, like I was saying, he had said and mentioned that in order to maintain your weight, like you have to eat a certain amount per day. So in order for you to lose weight, you have to be in a caloric deficit unless you are um, trying to build muscle, then you have to be in a um, caloric surplus. So right now I'm kind of fluctuating between what I want to do because I do want to grow my muscle, but I'm also trying to lose weight. So I'm like trying to figure out the best way to go about it. So I'm probably going to um, talk to my gym trainer this week and ask him like what he recommends me doing. So I think this is going to be it. I'm just going to add my chicken to my salad so i'm just gonna cut it up i'm probably not gonna take this entire piece of chicken 
The other one I will cook tomorrow. Usually I would just cook it now and keep it in the fridge, but for the sake of my time, I'm going to just go ahead and put it in a Ziploc bag and just cook it tomorrow before I go to work. So today is the first day of my work week. It is Thursday today. Um, so I usually work Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It just makes it easier for me with school. So um, usually Thursdays, I'll wake up still at 5 a.m., do my workout that I do on my usual days, study for a little bit, and then try and sleep. So this is the day that I will usually reverse my schedule. Give me a second. Let me wash my hands because I have to cut my chicken. All right. Sorry. Um, so like I was saying, Today's my first work week, so I will wake up early and still do what I would usually do on my, um, like, days off, and then I sleep, and this is, like, the day that I have to switch my entire sleep schedule because I do have to be up all night, so basically, um, tomorrow when I come home, I'm going to sleep all day, wake up at four, and I'll get a 30 minute workout in if I work out. Um, I do try to take my rest days on the days that I have work because I have nothing to do. Sorry, I'm just making sure that my chicken is not pink. I don't want salmonella. So I'm going to put some of this on top of my salad for lunch, and then some of it I'm going to eat with a salad now. So yeah, like I was saying, I just try and get a 30 minute workout in the days that I work. Sorry, that was my grandpa's urn. Grandpa, get out of the video. <laughs> and so I will do that or I'll take it as a rest day. But as you can see, it took me less than 30 minutes to prep my lunch. Sometimes I will have steak. So I have steak once a week and um, it's the only red, real red meat I have. I'm not vegan and I'm not vegetarian, but, or like, um, like I said, lactose intolerant. But if I have options are out there, I will try my best to consume them just because I do feel bad for the animals. So I try to eat as minimal as possible um, if it is an option. So I will have red meat maybe once a week or every two weeks. And I will take that with a salad to work. Um, sometimes I do make like chicken teriyaki bowls. So I'll get like rice, veggies, and chicken. It just depends. Like that's, I think my downfall is that I'm not the type of person that can go into your kitchen, see what you have and whip up a meal. I am not a good cook like that. I wish I was, but I just don't. I've never cooked until I lived on my own. So I'm like, I just don't have those resources and stuff like that. I was a couple noodle girl <laughs> instant meals for a very long time. So um, I suggest maybe downloading the Tasties app or I on Pinterest, I get a lot of my um, recipes off Pinterest. So there are so many different healthy options out there. Like I'm gonna make a video soon of all the different types of snacks that I consume because I do will like eat a rice cake. Speaking of rice cakes, I gotta pack one. <laughs> so I will have a rice cake with um, peanut butter or I'll have the rice cake with cream cheese and either cucumber or um, tomatoes and it is so good. Like don't underestimate. Just because it's healthy doesn't mean it has to taste bad. Like I think the world has come to a better place when it comes to healthier options. Cameron and I were just talking about this because he was saying how like McDonald's used to have, um, there went that, how McDonald's used to have this um, veggie burger. And I was like, ew, but back in the day, veggie burgers were so gross. Like I didn't like them at all. It wasn't until I tried like Beyond the Meat and the other healthier alternatives now that they have that I actually started liking vegan, like vegetarian meat. So there's stuff out there. You just kind of got to educate yourself and really be motivated in order to reach your goals. So that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and for tuning in with me. So I will talk to you guys later and see you in my next one. Bye.